now to a guest in the studio. Um, first of all, let's talk about, I, we know that there are other issues according to ASU, but let's talk about the IPPIS. Um, the IP, IPPIS you know, um, is, is an initiative of the federal government which is uh, meant to pay employees within statutory and contractual obligations according to the federal government. And they also say it will help them eliminate ghost workers in the civil and public service. So what does ASU have against IPPIS? Well, thank you very much. Uh, you see, Nigerians should not, uh, and Nigerian universities should not be treated as an island on its own. These universities are set up by Act of the Parliament, which becomes a law. And the law vested the running of the universities on the council, which has been set up by the various universities, uh, government to run each of these universities. And these councils are supposed to be in charge of uh, even renumerations, payment, or whatever. So if the government is going to bring any law that is going to remove the university autonomy that was signed freely by, this, by the government itself in 2010, then what are we then saying? Secondly, in which part of the world is what Nigeria is trying to do being practiced? Ghana nearby country here have something similar to IPs. The universities are exempted because of the peculiarity nature of it. And the question we are asking, why today is CBN not on IPs? Why is Federal Inland Revenue Services not on IPs? Why is NNPC not on IPs? Why is the National Assembly people not on IPs? Are they not using taxpayers' money of Nigerians to pay them? The essence is government are bringing these necessary distractions to destroy the university system. They have already destroyed our primary schools, they've destroyed our secondary schools. Now the next thing is this, they want to destroy the public universities. It, it, those are very strong statements to make when you say um, the primary and the secondary schools have been destroyed. But let's, let's look at, at other issues, which is the issue of funding. Yeah. Um, we know that in 2019, February to be precise, in 2019, yeah. um, ASU had a, signed a memorandum of action with the federal government. Yeah. And after that, some funds have been released. Um, we saw um, 20, about 20 billion naira being released, maybe in, I think 2018, and then in 2019, about 25 billion dollars also been released. So why is funding Funding still an issue if the federal government has been yield, yielding ground on that matter. You see, Nigerian government are good at throwing figures. 20 billion naira, how much does it come in dollar? And how much is the budget of a standard university even in South Africa compared to the 20,000, the 20 billion they are talking about? We have issues. IPs is a necessary distraction. So when we talk about funding, Go to our laboratories in public universities and see if today, God forbid, if coronavirus strike in Nigeria, I'm telling you, we are all gone. Because these are investments that involves billions of Naira in research. What can we do? Most of the laboratories, medical micro, uh, microbiology labs, where you even think of where you want to, they are itself invested by viruses. So education is not properly funded. You know that. How many of us can afford to send our children to the kind of public school that we went uh, in our it, days? It just allow so me, but when they said uh, that they have, they have released this money, what are please, money just, Sorry, just allow me, Botty, because if you're saying uh, um, funding is a problem, and government is saying, look, revenue is also a problem. Mm -hmm. um, allow us without ghost workers so we have more revenue for this university. So why wouldn't ASU want to help government do that? Uh, I think we oversimplify matters in this country. If they are saying that they have been able to save certain amounts of billions of naira from ghost workers, how many people have been put on trial? So if you are saying that, oh, we have saved 100 billion, we have saved 120 billion, 300 billion, how many people have been tried in this country of that money? Why are they not looking at utas that we have given to them? To say, okay, this one is more adaptable, is more reflective. The truth of the matter is, you are, your, your channel reported that when the accountant general was brought to the Senate to come and present data from 2015 up to date with respect to IPs, he has nothing to present. Is that not corruption on his own? If the accountant general cannot defend the policy of the government, and they have been on on this since 2012, they have not been able to present any document to show that what I've been saying. And the police report, the DSS report, the FCC have been All able right, to show. So, that um, Salu Ajao, chairperson of ASU University of Ilori, many thanks for your time on this issue. We'll keep, we'll keep you, I uh, will stay in touch with you just to get updates on this issue. Thanks Thank for you your time.